shopping. Well, today on my channel, we're gonna do an unboxing video. And no, it's not gonna be an unboxing video of parts or anything, trust me, that's to come. Because I got parts on order for the 454 project. But I decided to buy something today uh, that'll definitely make doing repairs in my driveway, or parking lot in this case, I live in an apartment, a lot easier to do and uh, you can go to any Harbor Freight to get it yes I mentioned that those, those words Harbor Freight so what I got here in the box if you want to point to that is the 30 inch 5 drawer mechanics tool cart I've seen a lot of video reviews and stuff on this cart on uh, YouTube and when I was a technician at uh, Technoglass a bunch of a few of the guys had these carts I just didn't have the money to get one so Normal price for this at Harbor Freight, at least in my area, is uh, $238.99. Uh, they do have a coupon right now that you can get it for $199.99. And then the inside track members also. Uh, but I bought this and a couple other things, which I will uh, include in the end of the video. A couple of accessories that cost. The two accessories in this cost me $238. So without further ado, we're going to open this one. And you can get these in a wide variety of colors. I chose black because black's my favorite color. So we'll just uh, expertly catalog this stuff. That's just for shipping. Big, beefy. These are kind of heavy. What are those legs? Legs and supports. These, not so heavy. But these right here, holy crap, these these have got some weight to them. Definitely can tell that this this has got some, some quality to it. Now, I don't know if Horrible Freight, or I mean Harbor Freight, has their stuff made in China. I don't know. So I'm not going to say whether it's Chinese made or not. But hey, if any of you guys in the comment section below want to let me know if this stuff is made in China, that'll... Uh, Generally, it should say somewhere on the box or on the toolbox itself. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Or even in the destructions. But even though this is all four legs, still four of these legs put together, man, they've got some weight to them. Right, well, set those aside. Let's continue pulling everything out before we start assembly. Try and pull the, the sleeve off from around it. Because take a look at the bottom. There you go. Week. It's got a bit of girth to it. Yeah, it does. For that, or I just got fat and lazy over my years of truck driving since I've been out of the army. Because I can tell you what, I wasn't this fat. Well, you take a look at that sexy boiler, just pregnant with a bucket of chicken. Oh yeah. But I will say, review-wise, at this point. Bottom or bottom piece here is what it looks like, a little bottom tray. Tell you what, definitely a little flimsy. I'm sure that'll have to come out to assemble. Then again, maybe not. I guess uh, we'll wait and see. Have you even found the destructions to that yet? No. Nope. They should be in one of them drawers somewhere. I bet you you're right. Little 
shipping foam here to protect the finish, which is going to end up getting destroyed through years of use. And then some. And then some. Hey, there's the destructions and hopefully all the hardware. Alright. Got shocks here for the lid. And yeah, I know I just called them struts, and where I work at a parts store, I get people calling these things little shocks. These things don't absorb think absorb impacts and energy like actual shock absorbers do. That's why they call them shock absorbers. These things, even on your vehicle for your hood, back glass, trunk lids, things like that, these are actually called lift struts. Even on your modern vehicles, these are lift struts, not little mini shocks. So I guess we'll just... Uh, I just call them lift actuators. So, uh, and, you know, the, the common thing with a lot of people, especially for guys, and I don't know why, is, oh, we don't need the instructions. Well, guess what? I'm one of those guys that I read the instructions. So, doing a little further inspection, we have a pouch with the keys. And I have four keys, it looks like. Yeah, U.S. General is notorious for that. My 72-inch tool chest actually came with four keys, even though it's only got two locks. This is, appears to only have one lock. One lock! And they gave me four keys. Awesome. -o. So, now, I know for a fact we are going to need some form of hardware to assemble this. i got to figure out where hardware is. Probably in one of the bottom drawers. Hey, we got that. That looks like the push handle. Hey, we got more stuff here. More brackets. Oh, look. And my roommate comes out and my other furball roommate. And that's got to contain the hardware. Yes, it looks like it. <laughs> Trust me, this is the first time I've ever done any of these, so this is all you guys are learning is long, along with me. Those of you who have bought these in the past, uh, or are currently using them, or have had used them, put down in the comment section below what you guys think of them. If you guys think they're horrible, let us know. If you love them, let us know, or if you're in between, I don't care. I want to know what everybody's opinion are on these. So let's continue the unboxing. Oh, time to break out the knife. The kniff? The kniff. Kniff it. Knife it. What's that uh, one thing that Thunderhead 289 at Junkyard Digs do? Send it. I thought that was zip ties and bias plies. Uh, he might have started it. I don't know. But I know the big thing is with uh, Kevin and Luke, their channels is send it. Yeah, you got to put it into the ketchup. Speaking of, all right, those are channels that I follow. I've been following for years, so I'm going to do a shout out to them because they've been helping me with a lot of information when it comes to my repairs. And uh, especially with carburetors and stuff and old school revivals, shit like that. If you haven't checked them out, check out Thunderhead 289 and Junkyard Digs. So there's the push handle. Alright, let's see what the, uh, the nasty looking brown box contains. Oh, that's saving the best for last, man. So one thing I noticed, uh, um, another thing I noticed that 
a lot of YouTubers will do when it comes to unboxing and stuff is that they don't put out that I'm actually going to put out on this one is once you get everything out of the packaging, you go through your owner's manual slash assembly instructions and somewhere in here it should give us an inventory of what should come in this kit all right so the best thing to do would be before you start doing any assembly see here's parts list right here we need to go through and make sure we have everything here because if we don't then we can get a hold of uh u.s general or harbor freight and be able to get the stuff we need or exchange it for one that has everything. But considering how everything's packaged in this, I'm safe to say I don't I think everything's included. So I'm just gonna go through and depackage everything, and then we'll go through and do an inventory. This would be the heavy duty casters. And hopefully the hardware is in there. Yes, we got Bags of hardware that looks like a handle. For the lid. Masters. Stationary and the turning ones. With the uh, wheel locks. Yep. And we got hardware. There's the, the main thing. And I noticed they put a little bit of wood now <coughs> in that there box. <coughs> so we'll just expert the uh, catalog that over there. And of course, you're building a toolbox, so it's perfect for holding everything yeah. as you assemble it. Exactly. Exactly. So, we're going to put the sharp, dangerous tool away. All right. So, pastors. Now, I have come across situations in this where bags of fasteners are not open, but I'm missing fasteners. Here's the thing. I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to freak out, load all this back up, take it back to Harbor Freight, all because I'm missing a few fasteners. I actually have assortments of fasteners in kits, so if I happen to be missing one, it's not like I can't find one to make it work. But if I was missing other parts that are critical, such as these, these brackets here, or legs or something like that, then I would be doing, I would be going back telling them, hey, I'm missing this piece and seeing what I can do about getting another one ordered in. It may take a few days, and considering with the coronavirus, it could take a little bit longer. I'm willing to wait for that. Some people are not willing to wait. I just don't get why everybody's so impatient these days. Besides, if you are missing fasteners out of that kit, the instructions are going to tell you exactly what fasteners and hardware comes in the kit. You can reference that. And then you could also go to your local hardware store and get a replacement fastener of the exact same type. See, we got ourselves a parts list right here. Should come with everything in this toolbox kit. All right, it's on second to last page, page six. All right, obviously we have the lid, the main chest. All right, so I'm just gonna go down, go down there. I mean, we got all the drawers, so all that's already assembled. So a lot of this we don't have to worry about rails, things like that because it's already here already assembled so the other parts we're going to need and yes if you look real closely for the fasteners it says what the thread pitch and size is m8 by 20 all right number eight washers m8 nuts m8 16 of them so that gives us how many we're supposed to need and yep. we're supposed to have so but i'm not worried about going through and counting every single fastener nut bolt washer in these bags one thing i'm worried I'm, I'm making sure is is we got the handle says we have one this guy says we have one two solid casters meaning they don't turn i'm not sure what you know and then we got the steerable casters here two and two so you got two swivels with uh wheel locks and then two solid casters and then we got this guy right here. So, pretty much going through the list here. It doesn't look, may have looked like in the video I've gone through it, but it's all here. All right, let's start assembly. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it back to, you know. And the other thing is, is you can get some helpful information. Read through the general safety tips, the general safety rules for this, because it could come in handy. 
I bet you towards the back of that, it's going to say it's made in China. I can almost guarantee it. You know what? I'm curious. Let's find out real quick. Do a quick skim over and see where it says that. No, I'm not seeing anything. See, right here. It says we can record the serial number of the box here. It says no. Some parts are listed or only shown in illustration purpose only and not available individually as replacement parts. Parts may not be interchangeable. So, again, we can call, contact U.S. General through Harbor Freight, I'm sure. And if you've got some fabricating skills and mm -hmm. maybe a master's engineering degree, you could actually cobble something together to custom to be able to improve this box to your own liking. Yeah. It is made out of metal, after all. So... I guess we will start by taking that, those out, I'm sorry I'm working on my patio, <clears throat> but I need a solid surface, you want to flip that up there Sam. Hey, at least you're working out of your patio and not in the storage unit in the back of an old Ford pickup truck. So. It is actually says to take this guy here and attach the casters to it. So that would be the bottom tray. So you could essentially use the top cabinet of your uh, toolbox here Isn't as it? a workbench. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the drawer liner out. Seems like that's just going to flop around anyway until you get it on its wheels. Big guy. <coughs> Wanna do me a flavor? And in the inside anything but cherry. Inside the uh, cabinet or the where I keep all my tools. You wanna get me my uh, my uh, nut driver, the not the one that looks like a drill, the one that looks like an impact gun. The three eighths one. Because I'm going to use power tools to assemble this. I would actually be really careful about that because you could strip out fasteners. I already did that when I assembled my 20-ton shop press. Yeah, I, I've, I'll, I'll be showing some ways around that. So, it does not appear that there is any witch orientation that uh, this is supposed to go in. But I will say the uh, illustration is a bit different than what this is on, so what this actually is. I would probably say your solid casters at one end, your swivel casters at the other end. Well, that's what it's saying, but the illustration shows these rails right here going this work? way. Yeah, that'll work. <coughs> Power ratchet, they I actually work. have yet to use that. Have you even uh, checked the charge on the battery? Should have a half charge. Now, uh, I'll probably be doing some series of videos this weekend on uh, doing some reviews on stuff like this. I got a, got these from O'Reilly's, and uh, I'm actually going to do a review on these guys. Now, we're going to do a comparison between these Power Torque brands that you can get your at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store and the higher name brand Milwaukee Power Tools that I use. Yeah, so O'Reilly's don't pay me enough to... Uh, to buying the name brand so I'm buying what we have through them because I also get a discount being an employee granted this is power torque it does come from my employer not sponsored so disclaimer O'Reilly's is not sponsoring me for this I'm doing this on my own accord and I bought all these tools including the tool cart here we're building with my own money so but I figured I'll kind of do a quick review real quick of this uh, this is the uh, 3h drive electric ratchet from power torque we have actually had this out for a couple of years now, and uh, I've been eyeballing it, and I finally got the money to go get one. So I have the drill driver and the uh, 3 8 impact gun, the small one, and I also just purchased today the uh, half drive, so I've got the whole set. But all of them come in a blow molded case. Glad to know that with the stay at home orders, people are still out there flying their private jets and private airplanes. Obviously, they come with the safety instructions, they come with the charger, and obviously the tool themselves. Yeah, I don't think come with these little uh, 3 8 uh, they're not 3 8 but these little mini lithium ion batteries. O'Reilly's does sell replacements of these on the shelf.
Uh, do, do, do. It does not have a light in the front. We'll be able to comparison a lot of those features to so, uh, the ones I've got. One thing I will say is it does not have a light in the front, but it does have a battery indicator light on it right up here. Hello. So. Oh. Over at my brother's. Switching of cameraman, because I guess cameraman's woman decided to call him. That'd be the first guy. <clears throat> I'm the second guy. So, now we are going to put the casters on. Now, some people I know will get confused by this. But you see here, the rails, which if you look over here, they go widthwise. In the illustration, they go lengthwise. Not a difficult concept to come up with, people. All right. You want your casters to go, you want your solid and your swivels to be on the same side. So, it doesn't tell you exactly which side they go on. So, the choice is yours. I'm going to put my solids right here, my swivels down there. So, the next thing I need to know is which nut and bolts. You got to figure 4, 8, 12, 16 nuts and bolts and fasteners that go with this. That is probably not the bag. This is probably the bag that they're wanting because these have washers. The rest of it does not. So pay attention to that. The wind is blowing, so I got to put the destructions away. But I'll do a little more in-depth review of this tool here a little later on. So another thing, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which direction you put, whether you put the bolt in this way or this way. I'm just going to reference the uh, instruction guide here, see what it says. And it says to go through the top. So it says to go through there. Freaking wind. And the nut and the washer on the back side. Oh, you're going to play this game. <laughs> These are nylock locking washers. So in reality, uh, they're locking nuts. So you really don't need to throw Loctite on. But for those of you who want the added, that added peace of mind. Yes, I know. Is there a simple way to, simpler way to do this? Probably. But that was gravity at work. Just messing everything up. Like it always does. Yep. All because this thing doesn't want to bite the threads square. Weed whacker. Or blower. So, now we'll pause the video right here for a second. So maybe we won't pause the video. Now that sound has died down to nothing. Isn't that supposed to be turned? No, because I don't think it'll fit. It's yeah, got it should. Here. Well, hold that up. Well, 
Probably. Wash it. Oh, you're right, it does. Okay. <laughs> you see? I'm learning. He's just not very observant. Well, it doesn't tell you exactly which way, though it should be blatantly obvious. Did you stop dropping the washer? That was it. Okay, that's that's really gonna start irritating me. You wanna pull that back out? Cause that's got the square heads on there. Figure out why the, those ain't sitting flush inside the hole. And pull this out. Sure that's the prop, proper fastener. They're all the same, it looks like. That's the only bag that has washers, and the instructions say to put washers in it. Unless it wants a washer on the other side. I don't think so, because these fasteners have got that square notch in them that's supposed to design the index into the hole it's in, because there's nothing for us to grab a hold of these on when it comes to tightening them. Yeah, these are lag bolts. Setting in, and it'll there we cinching, go. cinching itself into place. <coughs> there we go. Now they're sitting there. Hey, how many do you think is gonna pop out when they try to put the wheel on? Oh, it might. Well, no comedy now. Well, almost. Jesus. I can't freaking hold on to anything. Butterfingers, just like me. Now we all been there, though. It happens to me quite frequently. Either way, we all been there. And yes, for a lot of the mistakes I'm making, especially the, the pretty blatantly obvious and stupid ones, you can shred me in the comments for that. No, oh, I should have an extender extension in there too. That's reverse. Should have a three eighths extension in there. Well, you don't. You Do got it. a quarter drive extension. Should have a three eighths in there. Uh, you don't. Huh. See that? It's the correct size. I just checked. Thirteen millimeter is the magical number here. As long as it ain't auto magical. It's in. Good and tight. Seriously? Thank you. 
definitely not really a one-man operation. <laughs> We're good. You're distorting the washers, man. That's a good one. take to assemble a tool cart? Answer, two. That's good and solid. Well, at least you didn't Master. have to put the wheels in the, uh, in the thing. Those are already there. Have the fiber nuts and the washers. I don't think those are going anywhere. say it's one of the few videos that I actually have shown doing some form of work and not just talking about it. Okay, now this is going to be a little more stable. The next comes the last two casters of swivels. So it's a little bit of uh, pressing action with your thumb or maybe a small hammer. You could probably get these to fit inside the little notches. That's the, probably the powder coating process has made them a little small. So you can even take some sandpaper, maybe a file, and kind of rub a lot of that out. If you want to. To get these to fit. Or you can just push them through like we are. Position you have them, which is at the center of these oblong holes, does not first succeed. Rotate the bolt 90 degrees. There we go. For those. Did you wind up with an extra bolt? Uh, running into a situation like this, where you buy a kit, sometimes they will provide one or two extra fasteners per kit. Uh, in the event that you lose one strip, want to break one. Now, one thing I also noticed. Oh, it looks like they've provided three extra bolts and at least five extra fiber nuts. These have got grease zerks on them. See, 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 grease zerks. Yeah. So. These are fully serviceable. At least the swiveling ones. <laughs> I figured that out.
Now for odd different reasons. What? Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a problem with that. That's what happens when you get old. You forget things. And he's just now figuring this out? Oh, I already knew that. I think. Everybody's got issues. You used to have issues too. Uh, One. Ooh, we have an extra watcher. figured out what my first modification for mine is going to be. Huh. I'm changing out these casters. I'm putting 35 inch tall tires on it. And he says I'm the one with issues. Well, I like the ability to be able to take my tools off road. It's just that I don't always have the convenience of having the truck to do it. You don't need power tools to make the job go by easier, but it helps. It really helps. Okay, so let's set this down. I think we got a bit of an issue here. Isn't that supposed to be on top of that? Yeah. Eventually. We're, we're getting to that. Right. Right. Yep. Right. But we got to put the other things in. So, now the next thing is, is we are now going to attach the legs. Give it has some, legs? Some, some long, sleek, beautiful legs. <sighs> so, looking at this, it looks like these are perfectly symmetrical. Meaning, if I got the terminology right. These are equal, so these two are equal length Except apart. These holes are not. These go more towards one side than the other. They do. So if I was flip this upside down, you right. right. So it's not perfectly centered. So they're not perfectly symmetrical, all of which have to face a certain direction. And according to the destructions, I'd say they go this way. <laughs> yeah, well. I'd have to say where this is a uh, bottom shelf, I'd have to say that these are probably going to be up more to accommodate room if you want to put a shelf on. So that is probably what I'm going to do. Well, what does the destruction say as far as any kind of spacing? It looks like they're on the upside. Well, at least they're not on yeah. the downside. Well, at least we're going up and up. Okay, so these attach to the outside even though the destructions say they attach to the inside. Or at least that's what the illustrations say. Hey, 3D. I believe you'd be right because it's supposed to hide 
These are meant to hide this ugly split seam here. Yes. Because they are not welded. Alright, so from this point on, we're going to... We're going to need this As I was taking a look at the uh, instructions, they obviously go on the outside and there's no way they look like they go on the inside. All I did was take a quick look. It looked like they were on the inside. Yes, Maniac actually has to have his eyes re-examined because these are clearly on the outside. Oh, are they? Not the inside. Yeah. Look at it harder. There you go, Dander. Oh, the blown-up view shows it on the outside. Not done. But taking a closer look, hell, you even proved to the camera I am wrong. They are clearly on the outside. Yes, and the nuts and bolts that go on the inside, not the legs. Oh, well, it's not my fault I have dyslexia and get everything backwards. Wait, yeah, it is. You don't drive backwards, do you? Oh, hell no, I'm not jolly old fucking English. Alright, there you go. So you don't get everything backwards. So does the instruction say four bolts per corner? I don't oh, know. I'm not looking at the instructions. I'm just putting bolts and holes. Look. If the wind likes to close the book. Just to be honest with you, they provide four holes per corner. So, I'd yes. have to say yes. Now, another thing is, is I think the reason why they don't provide washers for this. These are self-lockers. These are flanged self-locking nuts. Yep. <sighs> right. Bloody well right. Dead and bloody right. Sorry. Right. Right. Alright, well, uh, apparently this phone needs to get uh, charged. It's at 14%, so the video might cut out some point in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, we'll do this part one right now, and then we'll come back for part two and uh, basically finish the review because at this point, the rest of it is put the legs on, flip the, you know, put this onto where we slide the tool cabinet in and lock it in up here. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory at this point. So, I mean, we'll continue going for just a little bit while longer, but that's, uh, we'll just call this part one. So, mm -hmm. if we want to go ahead and actually just kind of cut that off right there, because it's pretty self-explanatory on putting up four legs. 